Hey guys, my name is Christy and this is my crafty country. I hope by the time you get done with this video, you have already hit that thumbs up, subscribed, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. So today's video is a collaboration with some other ladies here on YouTube and it is called Following. It is hosted by Amanda with Six Kids and a Glue Gun and the co-hosts are Crafty Hints and Rustic and Lace. So I will link the playlist and all of these lovely, lovely ladies channels below in the description box. So make sure you go over and check them out and subscribe, show them a little love. With that being said, let's jump right into our Halloween DIYs. For DIY number one, I'm gonna be using two of the pumpkin wreath forms from Dollar Tree, one of these wooden plaques, and I did paint the wreath forms first. Um, I recommend you waiting until you get your wreath forms attached to the wooden plaque and then just take it all out and spray paint it then. But live and learn, I ended up painting the wreath forms twice because while I was messing with them, some of the paint did chip off and this worked out great. But I all I did was I used my staple gun and I stapled the wreath forms to the bottom of the plaque or to the top of the plaque, to the bottom of the wreath forms. And then I got a couple zip ties and up by the stem of the wreath forms, I zip tied them together so they would stay uh, hooked together. The stems didn't match up quite right but it doesn't matter because i am going to be covering those with some ribbon later so no worries now once you get all of this attached and secured is when you're going to take it out and paint it um, i did have trouble with my wreath forms wanting to tip one way or the other so i did get a piece of burlap ribbon and just hot glued the heck out of that thing to the bottom to keep the form from shifting or tipping forward and backwards now that I have them painted, I want to decorate the inside and I did get a little piece of scrap wood and painted it white and this doesn't really attach all that great but I'm just using a dot of super hot glue uh, just to kind of tack it in place. And then I get out my florals and I think these were from Walmart from last year but just any florals you like. I went with black for Halloween but you could do your fall colors. You could do whatever you want with this honestly. So I got some of these and clipped them all off. Now I had, I think I needed three of these stems all together. And then I had two stems that you'll see in a little bit from Dollar Tree of the roses that had the eyeballs on them, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I put my little uh, battery powered candle on the piece of wood and I traced around it so I would know where to put my foam blocks to where the candle would still fit in when I was done. So that was just kind of like my guide circle. So then I got two pieces of floral foam and hot glued those down and just started to put my florals in however I liked them and try to fill it out the best I could. Here is where I realized that my floral stems were a little too long. Um, I didn't want them to be sticking up too high. I just wanted them kind of lay low. So I snipped them off a little bit and just began to decorate. Here's where I got my Dollar Tree, I think these were Dollar Tree roses from last year. And they had the eyeballs in the center of the rose, which was just kind of creepy to me. So I did pull those off and I might use them later on a different DIY, but they just weren't working for me on the rose. Um, these picks did have these little stems in them that were like sticks. And I think they had little spiders on the ends too. So those, I used those just for a little bit of filler and kind of Halloween it up a little bit as if black and purple wasn't enough. Now here I'm going to cover the stem and I used this glitter, purple glitter ribbon and I just tacked it down and then began to wrap and every now and then I'd put another dot of hot glue in just so it wouldn't shimmy up or down and then I pulled a couple leaves off of another stem that I had and covered the base of the ribbon where it didn't quite, where the ribbon didn't quite cover and I just put a little extra on each side and that is all there was to this one. I hope you guys like it. I know I did. Um, I'm going to set it in the middle of my table. My husband is sick of me setting stuff in the middle of the table, but that's where this one's going to go. So I hope you guys liked it. A 
for DIY number two, it was super simple. I just used one of these uh, jack-o'-lantern lanterns and spray painted it white. You may want to use a little bit of sandpaper on it before you spray paint it just so that the uh, paint has something to stick to. But then I glued the lid back on and put the candle back in and all I did was use some watered down Waverly chalk paint and this color was elephant but I ended up darkening it up here in a little bit and just dry brushed it all over it to kind of take the bright whiteness off of it just to make it look a little more Halloween fun a little more uh, distressed and these DIYs are so easy um, they're pretty self-explanatory. Dollar Tree's been giving us some good stuff. You just have to add a little bit to it to make it yours and make it more, a little bit more. For DIY number three, this one is legit my favorite. I used one of these glass pillar candle holders or vases from Dollar Tree and I taped it off about halfway and used Waverly ink colored chalk paint and just painted the base. Um, you could spray paint it, but if you do, I do recommend like putting Mod Podge or something on that first. That way your paint has a little bit of something to stick to. Next, I am hot gluing the clips back on these little bats. They come in a four pack at Dollar Tree, but the clips are so flimsy, your bats will fall right off. So I totally recommend doing this step just a dot of hot glue is all it takes. Now that my paint on my vase is dried, I am going to fill the bottom with some of these like river rocks that I think I got these at Dollar General, but Dollar Tree has them too. It doesn't matter what kind you get, you just need a little weight in the bottom to keep your vase from tipping over once you get everything in it. So I went outside and got some sticks and painted them half of them black, half of them white, and then I clipped the bats on them, and I thought this turned out super cute. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you did, make sure you like and subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. And thank you again for Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun and the other girls that are co-hosting for letting me be part of this challenge. I'll see you guys in my next video.